Hey guys, so I've been seeing so many things going on with this new palette collection that just came out and I am talking about the Jaclyn Hill vault collection. I really wanted to buy the whole thing, you know, the one that comes with like the four um, eyeshadow palettes. But um, I didn't want to order them online. So I did find out that they were selling them at Ulta. So I went to Ulta and I did buy one of the palettes. I did swatch a lot of them. They didn't seem bad to me. They seemed pretty pigmented and they looked like they felt they felt creamy too. I've seen so many mixed reviews about it. A lot of like negative reviews. There's some good ones, but I don't know. I wanted to try for it myself and for you guys if you guys want to know how it works as well and you have been watching other videos and you're kind of iffy about buying it, then I'll go ahead and do my review. I haven't put on this palette at all. I haven't tried it at all. So this is it right here. So pretty. I really like the whole, you know, the packaging and everything. So people have been talking about how there's like a V1, V2, and it says I have the V2. If you guys can see right there they have been saying that um, the V1 is the old formula and the V2 is the new formula I honestly have no idea uh, if it's true or not plus honestly I feel like they're not gonna tell you the truth even if you ask Morphe they're not gonna tell you the truth because it's just crazy to me how how they took all the palettes back and like, what did they do with all those palettes? Did they just destroy them? Like, they had a whole bunch of palettes already made. Like, did they just destroy them and throw them in the trash or recycled or whatever? Like, I just wonder what did they do with the old palettes? Um, I don't know. Like, do you guys feel... Like, I've thought about this. Do you guys feel that maybe this was kind of like a gimmick? Like, this was to hype it up even more? think this was done on purpose maybe so it can get more attention than it already had and then once it came out like people are gonna be like well it has to be good because they redid the whole thing you know I don't know to me it feels like it was overhyped and knowing and knowing that the formula was improved it kind of makes you want to buy it because it kind of makes you feel like okay this has to be a good palette because it was redone and it was rechecked you know it was like double checked to make sure it was good I got the ring the alarm palette and this is it right here and it does come with you know the little protector and these are the colors right here for some reason this this one attracted me more when I was watching them. I liked how um, the shimmers were, were 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 swatching, so I wanted to try it. And since you know fall's coming up, I feel like these were kind of like appropriate colors for fall. And you know, either way, I just this caught my attention more. The other ones did too, but I was like, I want to try this one out first. So I did read a comment that said that this one was crappy and this other one was crappy. That they swatched them at Ulta and they seemed crappy. But um, to me, it didn't seem crappy, so I'll go ahead and show you guys how this works. My Morphe brush, this is the M5, the M573, and I haven't primed my eyes because I usually don't ever prime them because, whoa, because I feel like, I don't prime my eyes because I feel like an eyeshadow should work without a primer. You shouldn't have to use a primer, but obviously, like, to make it last longer, maybe you should use a primer, but... I'm just trying to see if these work. So first off, I'm just putting a little bit of powder on my eye. Because I think I added foundation on this eye, but not on this eye. But, oh well. The first color that I'm going to start off with is this one right here. And this is the color Rush. And it's like kind of like a yellowy mustard color. Okay, let's see how it works. So you guys can obviously see how it's blending out. You guys can see the color pigment. So I feel like these are buildable. Like I don't feel like it's super, super pigmented, this color right here. I feel like you do have to build it up, but it feels like, it seems like it is blending out pretty good. I don't see it being patchy. 
The second color that I'm going to use is this one right here, which is Alert. Now this one is like an orange brown, kind of. And I'm going to also put it in the crease to try to like darken up the So there it is. I feel like this color is pretty pigmented as well, which I don't mind them. I don't mind when you have to build up an eyeshadow because I feel like that's the best way to go about it because if you're not used to using, like if you're not used to doing your eyeshadow and you get an eyeshadow palette that's super pigmented and you grab too much, it's going to be harder for you to work with. If you get one that you have to build up, it's easier to work with because you can put as much as you want. You could just keep putting more or you could just, you know, put a little bit of color. I'm going to add this color right here, Balm Ass. I'm going to add that to this side of my lid, basically to my lid. Probably have to go in with my finger. Like in any other eyeshadow palette, when you're using like a shimmer, it's better to use your finger. But I'm going to go ahead and try it without my finger. And there is the product. Okay, so yeah, usually these don't work very good with a brush. They come out more pigmented when you use either a wet brush or your finger. So I'm going to go ahead and use a wet brush first. Okay, so I feel like the best method is going to be my finger. And these feel very creamy. The, um, the shimmery ones are very creamy. The other eyeshadows, the matte eyeshadows, are soft. So there you have it. That was bomb ass. And for the last color, I'm gonna go ahead and use and use this one right here, which is the color Secret. And I really do like how the names are on here. It's easier to tell you guys what color I'm using. And then the last color I'm going to use is going to be this one right here, which is the color on camera. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and finish the other eye and clean this up a little bit and also add some eyelashes. We'll try to add some eyelashes and finish up the look. And then I'll give you guys my final thoughts on the Jaclyn Hill Ring the Alarm palette. Okay guys, so this is the final look that I came out with, with the Jaclyn Hill palette. And um, I know my eyelashes are a little crazy because I am learning how to make, how to do, how to put on eyelashes. Okay guys, so that is the final look. And um, I actually did not have a problem with this palette at all. I liked how it worked. It blended out really good. I just don't really get what's going on with all the complaints. Like, maybe because I didn't get a palette that totally sucked. Like, this palette worked out great for me. My final thought on this palette is, is it an absolute necessary palette for you no it's not the vault is not something that is out of this world it's different it's something that's different that it's not out there no definitely these colors are out there you know in different palettes in different you know single eyeshadows these colors i feel like they are out there in, in other brands it's not something you necessarily need i feel like it's obviously overhyped because it is a youtuber's it is a YouTuber's collaboration with a makeup company, and that makeup company is Morphe. I feel like Morphe got bigger and bigger because of YouTube, and also because it is pretty affordable, and the eyeshadows and their products are not bad. They're pretty good. They're a little bit better. I think they're a little bit better than drugstore products, but not as good, obviously, as high-end. I mean, some stuff can be, I guess. It just depends on your opinion. So, no, I don't think you guys absolutely need this palette. Now, 
if you're a makeup collector like I am and you like Morphe, then yeah, I would say go ahead and purchase it. I feel like every palette, it varies how good it works. The colors work differently. So even if you do get a palette, like a different a different palette, not this palette, not the Ring the Alarm, there could be one color that doesn't work good or there could be two colors that doesn't work good. I mean, I haven't really seen that many videos on the palette. So this isn't like the best palette that you're gonna find out there, but it's not the worst in my opinion. Like I think it works pretty good and I think that we should all lower our expectations and remember that this is a Morphe palette. I know that because maybe because Jaclyn Hill said that this is bomb and it's like like such a great, you know, product altogether. All the colors are awesome. Like obviously she has to say that. She's not going to say like, "Oh, you know, some of the colors work better than others and um this is Morphe quality, it's not high end." Like she's not going to say that. She's going to hype up her palette because Obviously, she's trying to sell it and she likes it and she believes in it. I think people are expecting too much out of these products. Um, mine worked fine, so I'm very happy with it. Will I be purchasing other palettes from this collection? Maybe, maybe not. And the reason why is because there is so many other, there are so many other palettes coming out all the time that once you know it launches and i either buy it or i don't i move on to the next thing that's coming out and i think that's how it works and i think that's why they overhype palettes and products because products are coming out all the time so what you want to do i feel like as a company what they're trying to do is make sure that you buy this and that you're convinced that you should buy this right when it comes out because if not then they're gonna miss that customer or they're gonna miss that person's interest in this product and then another product is gonna come out and then everyone's gonna go for that product you know what I'm saying like if I make sense is if you don't overhype a product then you're not gonna get as much as many sales as if you do overhype it you know because even though like some people might not want to buy it sometimes you have that curiosity curiosity like oh maybe I should try it like I want to see what the fuss is all about or that's what I think that's just my opinion so I hope this was helpful I was trying to do I was trying to make something helpful so that you know you guys can maybe make a decision if you want to buy it or just if you guys want to know you know what's the big fuzz about of this palette I'll see you guys next time I hope you guys like this video and that's it